a uh, good day wherever you are welcome to today's lesson and today we are dealing with kcsc 2014 practical biology and let's see what the students were asked in question one you are provided with solutions labeled q and r a substance labeled b in the delivery tube fitted with a rubber band then you are told label solution q as the lime water you know lime water is calcium hydroxide then label solution r as 10 percent sugar or sugar solution add substance d to the 10 percent now this the substance that you label D to 10% of sugar solution. Tightly close or plug the boiling tube with the rubber band fitted with the delivery tube. And then dip the other end of the delivery tube, the test tube containing lime water. Put the boiling tube in the warm warm water bath at 40 degrees celsius and allow the setup to stand as shown the diagram below then observe the setup about for about 15 minutes now the setup was looking like this so you can see this is the lime water the test tube delivery tube cork substance d and the sugar solution mixture under the water bath of 40 degrees celsius then you are told in question one state the observation made in the lime water now the observation was a white precipitate a white precipitate was observed or effervescence effervescence card yes it was the observation now explain the observation made in lime water the observation was now here in this reaction there was a gas that was produced and you know that is carbon 4 now the carbon 4 reacted with the lime water to form the white precipitate now we will say the gas produced the gas produced is carbon dioxide, which reacted reacted with the lime water the lime water to form the white precipitate precipitate name the physiological process that was being investigated now this process was respiration Write a word equation for the physiological process investigated. Now the word equation will be glucose or the sugar that we have the 10% sugar glucose plus oxygen and in the presence of yeast or the enzymes to give you carbon 4 plus water as energy yeah that was the word equation this is carbon 4 oxide carbon 4 oxide should be able to differentiate between a chemical equation and a word equation mm, roman 5 says why was the warm water bath used in this experiment? 
whenever you see something is being warmed and then you, there is presence of enzyme automatically you should know that was to provide optimum temperature optimum temperature for the action of the enzyme yes and then in 2 in B it says put a drop of the content in the boiling tube on the microscope slide now here they are provided with microscope and then stain with a drop of methylene blue and cover with the and cover with the cover slip observe it under the light microscope using the low medium and the high power objective lenses draw the and label one of the structure observed under the high power of the objective lens now, for us, we don't have the microscope, but I do for you the expected observation you would see. You would see a structure looking like this. Structure of the plant cell. Then there is a nucleus. This is the nucleus. The outer layer is the cell wall. Then the inner is this, the cell membrane. And the inner of the fluid like this is the cytoplasm. Now state the magnification of your drawing. The magnification you will multiply the eye piece lens multiply by the objective lens in order to get the magnification which is times it was times 400 the answer should have a times sign a multiple sign identify substance D state that identify the substance D now here substance D was the yeast yeast question 2 you are provided with the specimen labeled E and F E and F these had the, the network veins and had the broad leaves like a bean and this one had parallel veins like for maize now, now this from class like Otilia Donai this from Class mono cotyledonai. That was I observed that. Then name the subdivision to which the specimen belong. After you have known these classes, you should know the subdivision. Now the subdivision was the angiospermatophyte or angiospermophyte. Angiosperma to fight <coughs> angiospermatophyte or angiospermophyte now use observable features of the specimen give two reasons for your answer you will say they have has parallel wind leaves then have flowers have flowers so the features you should observe state the difference between the leaf of specimen E and F now the differences were E had opposite the leaves were opposite while in F the leaves was alternate in E there were net network veins and they were net veined and these were parallel veined <coughs> and here had serrated margin serrated margin while F had the smooth margin smooth margin 
Yeah, here well, this was green. Here yeah, this was the purple. Has this had petiole? Has petiole? This one had had the sheep was modified into the sheep. But now the difference between specimen E and F, the stems of the specimen E and F. The specimen of E was green, while for F was purple. Well, the other thing, this was thorny, and this was smooth. <coughs> then C, using observable features on the specimen, state the adaptation of the stem of specimen E to its habitat. Its habitat. Now we have seen E head thorns. Now from there we will say E head thorns, head thorny stem for protection, for protection against herbivorous. So as to survive herbivorous. That's one. The other one, its stem had a hard stem for mechanical support to support it in order to survive in its habitat for mechanical support. In question three, it says the photographs below shows two. Skeletal ribs of a mammalian famamo is A and B. This is the A, this is B. Now, before answering question, let's look the structure as well. So, you can see this is the scapula. The scapula. This is the humerus. Humerus. So, therefore, this is the this whole skeleton, this is the forelimb. Forelimb. This is from in the arm, it is known as the forelimb. And in the leg, this is the hind limb. Because this is the femur. We have tibia and fibula. Tibia and fibula. Yeah, here we have ulna and radius and radius. I hope it is visible. You are able to see. Now let's answer our question after we have identified the skeletons. Which of the two skeletons represent a forelimb? As you have seen, A, this is A, this is B. A, this is the forelimb, A. Give reasons. Roman, to state the features observable on the skeleton to confirm your answer. We have seen it has the scapula. There is there is presence presence of scapula. Also there is presence of humerus, presence of ulna and radius. Can make those ones presence of humerus, presence of ulna and radius, ulna and radius, and etc. Now let's go to B. Name the bones labeled J, K, and M. Now J is the lower, J is the lower, K is here, K, this is J, J and K, and then M, M are here, M are the hind limb. Now J, 
j as you see the first one is the ulna the second is the radius therefore j is the radius k then k is here k this is the femur k is the femur and here we see this is the tarsals metatarsals this is the phalanges m m is the phalanges this one therefore m is the phalanges yes which bone forms the second joint with the bone labeled k now k k is the femur which bone forms the second joint forms the now we are asked about the bone above k above the femur you know that is the pelvic pelvic idol And then D you are asked name the type of joint formed at the part labeled H and L part labeled H now H as you can see is here is the H the wrist here is the wrist and here between femur and the tibia and fibula now you are asked to name the joint here in the in H in the wrist this is known as the grinding joint while in L this is the hinge joint because it can only move in only one plane cannot move at 360 like the ball and socket joint which is found there above the femur therefore H H is the grinding joint while L is the hinge joint then lastly it says apart from the bones state the function of any two other components of a joint now you should be able to know the components of a joint there are many but let's give like three or four let's give four first component is the ligament ligament its function is to attach a bone and another bone a bone to another bone to another well another one is the tendon you should be able to know difference between this one ligament and tendon tendon attaches a bone and a muscle while well, this one attaches a bone and a bone the second one is the cartilage cartilage is found in, in the vertebral column the cartilage acts as a cushion to reduce friction here function is to reduce friction another component of joint is this synovial fluid that is fluid found in the joint this one lubricates also by reducing friction lubricates by reducing friction another one is the synovial membrane synovial membrane this one secretes the synovial fluid secretes the synovial fluid that's all that's all thank you